On the table, more Minecraft survival mode figures. We have the Zombie in Flames. Unique function, catches fire at dawn. I hope it doesn't burn my office down. On the back of the box, how the figure works and a quick little crafting guide. Use flint and steel to set things on fire in Minecraft. Plus other figures available. Let's break this zombie out, and another one of my favorite things about these survival mode figures is the fancy reusable packaging. Okay you zombie, what's got going for you today? I like these Minecraft survival mode figures. They're a good size, and they do just about what you want them to do. Simple articulation on the shoulders and legs. And I would imagine full 360 head rotation on this guy. Pretty much the same size as Steve and Alex this zombie is. Now let's test out this action feature. We've got some flames on a little base here. I think we want the tall flames in the back to get this feature to work right. And we're just going to drop the zombie into the flames. Nothing happening yet, but I think the uh, flames need to trigger that mechanism on his back. So let's test this out. I will press him down just a little bit, see what happens. And there we go. We have flames coming out of his head and under the arms. That's gotta hurt. And that functioned pretty well. You can also pull these arms out a little more, I believe, kind of like Alex and Steve. They can also do that. If you're really talented, just drop the zombie into the fire for action. Oh, did you hear about the one where the zombie walks into work and the boss is like, Did you get any sleep last night? You look dead. Oh, brother. So that's the zombie. So now we have the Minecraft Snow Golem. I have a feeling this might be a house favorite. Looks like fun, unique function shoots snowballs. Or should it say shoots snow discs? On the back of the box, information on how to function the Snow Golem, and a crafting guide if you place a jack-o'-lantern on top of two snow blocks, you will make a Snow Golem, and other figures available. Okay, let's melt this guy out of the box. Okay, outside of the box with the snow golem looking very icy. Pretty simple figure this time. I think we only have one point of articulation down here on the bottom. And the head doesn't rotate. These little arms have a little bit of movement. They feel like light switches. Okay, now how are we gonna load these discs? Probably not through the front, so it looks like the back. And I think I have five discs to load here. One, two, three, four, five. And those discs seem to have some pretty substantial resistance in pushing them in, so hopefully this guy will shoot them pretty far. Uh, we need a volunteer though. Hey Steve, get out here. Huh? Yeah, you, Steve, come on. All right. All right, so there's Steve, and we're going to uh, fire some weaponry at him. It looks like the lever pressed down. We'll shoot some discs right at him. Looks like it's right his height, so here we go, disc fire one. Oh, ouch, that nailed him. I think we need another volunteer already. Alex, get out here. Yeah? Come on. I don't know about this. Oh, you should know. You've got armor on, so you're okay. Oh, okay. All right, Snow Golem, give it a shot again here. Oh, gosh. That thing is so violent. There is a lot of power on that. Looks like we'll need one more volunteer. Uh, who do we got? I'd like to help. Oh, the skeleton's here. Say, did I ever get that purple Power Ranger review up? No. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Test this out. Aim at. Oh, 
Oh, I think that one just grazed him, but it still knocked it down. So yeah, these discs fire out really good. Do not, I repeat, look at them uh, in the face, but I think I will try to shoot one right at the camera here. Uh, just when I get my camera repaired too, let's hopefully things won't go bad, but I'm feeling good about it. Look how it opens his mouth. Oh, here we go. Oh, you all right, everybody? Oh, we've got one more shot, so let's fire it at me, okay? Ow. Okay, the last figure to look at today is the Minecraft Trading Villager. Unique function reveals raw materials to trade. Okay, on the back of the package, a crafting guide. The more you trade, the more villagers like you and a little guide on how to function the trading villager. And let's open this trading villager. Okay, outside is the trading villager, looking quite silly. They always kind of remind me of the Muppets with that large nose, or perhaps Squidward. I almost want to press down on that nose for some sort of secret action feature, but I'm getting nothing. Anyhow, not too much of articulation on this figure because it's mostly tied into the action feature, although I'm assuming 360 head rotation, not even that, just a tiny bit of rotation there. The legs have a little bit of movement to them. Again, everything's tied into the action feature. Here's a neat surprise though, you can store some of the things he trades inside uh, his back pants pocket. That is a huge pants pocket, the things you could store in there. Anyhow, I like that. And then we have the action feature here. Uh, it looks like we have to probably load something up first. Try not to drop him. So what should we pick first? Looks like everything is going to fit just nicely inside. Let's go with this first. And I'll let you guys name these things in the comments because I'm pretty sure I'll say something that will offend everybody. There we go. So now, so now we need a volunteer, probably, let's use Steve to uh, trade with the trading villager. Steve, come on out here. Ah, Steve, what happened to you? I got hit on the head with a snowball. Don't you remember? Oh, that's right. Okay, Steve, pick up one of those things and trade with the villager. Okay, here we go. Here goes the trade. We can even do the action feature here and then the villager will then, in kind, show something to trade with. There you go. That is the feature. It's too bad there wasn't like a little button that launched it out. I think I'm okay with that. All right, Steve, get out of here. So that's the trading villager. How am I gonna get this out of there? It really sticks in there. I guess you gotta jam your finger in there and then drop whatever item you want into the trade location. So that's kind of a fun and secretive figure. Together are your three new fall figures for your survival mode Minecraft line. Say, did you hear the investigation into the dead snow golem? Yeah, it's a cold case. Just stop. Just stop. Ah! I see you, FN2187. Get back here. That's really weird. Minecraft survival mode figures, snow golem, trading villager, zombie in flames, appear on store shelves, fall 2016, and run about $12.99 each. If you like your Minecraft action figures to have action feature flair, flair? Are you making fun of me? Ah! These are the figures to go for. I think the best has to be the snow golem, but the zombie in flames is also entertaining. That's what I have to say about that. The trading villager looks like he would make better video commentary. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're really talented, just drop the zombie into the fire and he should burn. Oh. Oh. Ha-ha!